Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gentle Dog Trainers channel. I'm your host Olivia De Santos and today we are going to be talking about puppy teething. Now it's been a very long time since Pip was teething. I don't even remember those days. He's quite an old dog but I do know a few things about puppy teething that I'm going to explain to you today. But before we dive in, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you want to learn, if you want to raise happy, healthy, and well-behaved dogs. We make videos about dogs every single week, so hit the notification bell and hit the subscribe button so that you never miss an upload. Now, let's talk about puppy teething. So firstly, what is puppy teething? So it's generally the same as human teething, baby teething. It happens in two parts of a puppy's life. So the first time that they grow teeth is from around three to six weeks. And so that would be the first time that they are teething. They'll be very, very young. And if you're adopting a puppy or you're buying a puppy, more than likely they would have gone through this stage already. The next teething phase, which we are more acquainted with, uh, is the three to six month phase. And sometimes if this is known as like the terrible twos of puppyhood, because this is when they start to destroy everything, when they start to chew everything. And more often than not, it's because they want to soothe their aching gums because it is a very painful process to grow new teeth. So in the second stage of teething, this is when their baby teeth fall out and their adult teeth come in. And it is a very, very painful process um, to grow new teeth. So if your puppy is teething, do you actually need teething toys? And the answer is yes and no. No, they don't need teething toys. Like puppies for millennia have teethed without having toys to gnaw on. But if you don't have something for them to gnaw on, then they are going to chew everything else. They will chew your furniture, they will chew your blankets, your slippers, everything else. So it's worth investing in some puppy teething toys for this period and beyond just because it kind of redirects their attention away from your valuable possessions. So if you decide to buy some puppy teething toys, what are you looking out for? The first thing is durability. You really don't want to buy a puppy teething toy that's going to fall apart in the first couple of weeks. That's kind of a waste of money and no one wants that. But at the same time, every puppy's teething strength is different depending on their breed and their size. So if you have a Newfoundland puppy, for example, they might have a much stronger bite than a Chihuahua puppy. So make sure that the durability that you choose is actually in line with the breed of puppy that you have. Following on from that, the second thing that you're looking for when you're, when you're shopping for puppy teething toys is the size of the toy. So as I say, you know, a Newfoundland puppy will need something different to a Chihuahua puppy. Often, more often than not, puppy teething toys are very, very small. So more often than not, if you have a large to medium puppy, then you might need to go for like a small dog chew toy or something similar to that rather than an actual puppy teething toy because it might be a bit too small. Third and final criteria for shopping for good puppy teething toys is the softness of the toy. Now this depends on your dog. So what I would say is observe their behavior. If they have started already chewing on your furniture and things like that, are they chewing on table legs or are they chewing on blankets? There you can kind of tell what kind of softness they actually prefer. If they would prefer something like a stuffed toy um, or if they would prefer something that's quite hardy and plastic and you know quite satisfying to chew. So softness really depends on the dog but if you're in doubt and I'd say buy one of each, buy a hard chew toy and a soft chew toy and see kind of which toy they prefer. So what are the types of teething toys that you can get for your puppy? Number one is that stuffed animal type toy or rather just any kind of soft cloth 
um, material type toy. It's really, really soothing for the gums. It doesn't have any hard edges. Um, what you're looking for here is real durability and to make sure that it's easy to clean, that you can put it in the washing machine because these things tend to smell so quickly so incredibly quickly. The next one is a soothing teething toy. So these tend to be ones that you can put in the freezer or have some kind of like gel mechanism or they're made of this type of plastic that doesn't hold any heat. And it means that it's just really cooling and soothing for your dog to chew on. Uh, sometimes they're even flavored, which adds a little bit of an extra incentive to chew them as opposed to your furniture. The final type of chew toy that I'm going to cover today are textured chew toys. So these are the ones that have like little nubbles on them or spikes or something like that. And that can have a massaging effect on the gums as they're chewing. And um, that tends to be quite satisfying for puppies. It can also help with cleaning their teeth. Two toys to avoid giving your puppy when they are teething are rope toys and bones. So the first one, rope toys, the reason the rope toys are kind of iffy is because of tug of war. That's going to be more irritating to them as they're teething and could also affect the way that their teeth grow in. So I would avoid rope toys in general. The second are bones. So we've touched on bones a few times before, but bones are, you know, far too hard for a puppy and softened bones are a choking hazard because they end up splintering and they can end up down your dog's throat. So avoid bones in general, particularly for puppies. In the in the description box down below, we have an entire review article all about the diff all about the very best puppy teething toys on the Australian market. So if you want to check that out, check that out in the link down below. But I want to end this video on an alternative to toys. So let's say that uh, you've got some puppy to teething toys, but you want an another suggestion of how you can help your puppy through this terrible time as their teeth are coming in. Frozen fruit works really, really well. Frozen carrots are the one that's most recommended by vets, but frozen apples works well as well. We've done a video on the types of fruits that your puppy can eat, so check that out here. But for now, I will love you and leave you. I've been Olivia De Santos for the Gentle Dog Trainers channel. This has been my sleeping pip, and we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. You with us? Yeah. <laughs>